helps support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. It's Sammy. It's Sammy, yeah, that's Sammy. correct. Hello, Sammy. I'm Don Bain. Hello, Don. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How are you? We're good, we're good. How about you? How you doing? I'm good as well. Good. Enjoying CES. Nice to hear that. Now, tell yeah. me. Oh, she's taking a picture. We, yeah. we have to always smile. Okay. Tell me about your company and what you do. So we provide uh, next generation storytelling tools for movie industry and advertisement uh, industry. Okay. Basically, we can analyze the content by using artificial intelligence at earlier stages. And the advantage of that, uh, you can see the potential of a content as early as script stage, as early as idea stage. Because system provides insights about the content, casting, and potential financial result. Of okay, the so there's a little artificial intelligence going on in here? It is, yeah. Everything is uh, based on artificial intelligence over here. The system, basically the main uh, technology is this uh, content understanding system. Can you pull your mic just a yeah. little bit closer to you? Is it okay now? Yeah. yeah. Kirk, can you bring him up on my headset if, a little bit if you can? Thanks. So the That's system... Better. Artificial intelligence creates a cinematographic DNA of any content. Basically, we can represent a content with the patterns uh, and narrow band patterns. Just to give an example of that, it's like a we can see how drama is changing over the content. Really? Or how comedy is changing. With those, you can define the content with those parameters. How do you measure that? How do you? Wh what are you using for the parameters to change that? That, that, that yeah, that's has changed. The, that's the cool thing about artificial intelligence. If we, it's very hard to define drama, right? What's the drama for, for humans, yeah, first, first of all, yeah. Uh, but what we do, we, we show thousands of drama scripts, drama films from the past to the AI. It starts to learn what are the repeating patterns in those films. Is so it the repeating patterns or is it, is it the voice pattern, the, the, the uh, staccato of the voice? Uh, or is it the actual an analysis of the of the words? Uh, no, no, the but that's that the thing. So we can analyze both from text or video. If it's text, we don't have voice, right? So it's really the literal okay. literal patterns. Okay. Actually, you see here, for example, oh, okay. we have the patterns. I don't know if we can get a close-up of that or yeah. not. We'll try. Let me tilt this down a little bit for the glare. Yeah, there you go. Close yeah. enough. That you see that, that we see the patterns for the movie Interstellar. And that's the, from the screenplay. Of no uh, interstellar, you see, we have a yeah, bit of sure. a bit of drama here, which the blue color is drama. Which have mainly it's mainly sci-fi and action elements. But so this is like a like a. So you're actually analyzing a, a feeling. Exactly. Yeah. That is that is yeah. almost scary. A and this is th that is unbelievable. So you're going to be able to, to analyze whether there's humor or or, or drama or sadness, in, emotions in five minutes. So you put into the system, it creates all these patterns. And that's only the start, because upon that, we can make even casting propositions. AI automatically tells which actor will fit better to which character. Wait uh, a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me that you can actually edit, add edits to the script to make it more involved or less involved or more dramatic or less dramatic? So we don't do the direct editing. Okay. Uh, we can do it, actually, but uh, we don't do it, because the reason we don't want to touch too much creative independence at this stage but it can show actually the problems with these patterns. Uh, the problems based on what? Tons of analysis of what the average is or the higher the rating or the lower the rating? Yeah, so these peak and values you saw on this pattern that we show on the screen, so that, that shows, for example, important points of the film. If you have a, a very flat pattern, that means your plot points are not very clear, then the audience will get bored, especially if you are targeting a mainstream audience. So that, that is right away That's visible. mind-blowing. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the advantage of that now, the, the producers, they, they can do the things much faster. And they could discover some of these problems themselves as well, but with many reviews by other human, all these things, and it's very biased normally. Those. What's the standard, or the base norm, whatever that is, that that data is based on? You follow what I'm asking? Yeah, the, the, the norm is the previous movies, okay? So how... So they, can I extrapolate that a, that, a, that a movie that got, uh, I don't know, uh, five stars opposed to two stars, that would show higher in, in the uh, analysis of the, the sadness or the drama or whatever than, yeah. than a, a two stars? Yeah, but that comes to the second part because the system is correlating these type, type of patterns with the success. 
because it learns from the past data what kind of pattern create what kind of results in which territory. Success based on what numbers? We have different success things, but one thing is, for example, the how much streaming audience it will get, or how much box office for the movies it will make. Okay, so okay. It, I'm just it, curious as to what the baseline predicts, is. Or how much travel internationally, it. because it automatically finds in which country the film can sell. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I have more questions than, uh, than I can possibly think. Yeah. My head's going to my No, I think one thing to add is also the casting part because we see the, because we work with many producers at this moment, so the system tells which actor will fit better to character. Right. Uh, that's, I think, huge benefit as well because, I mean, that's a huge problem for, for many films because the actor is a big part. Actor, actress is a, is a big part of the success of the film. Now with the AI, it goes over my, one million actors. It finds the actors that will have highest match and that will bring <laughs> the success to the film. Uh, again, automatically. Well, that in a way cuts down or diminishes everybody's chance of being getting that particular part because some actors will be better than others. Yeah, and that is actually a way to a bit democratize the industry because there's too much focus on specific actors, A-list actors. Now with the AI, some invisible actors actually get a chance as well because it sits in the corner, some actor in the corner has So it works match. both ways. Yeah. That's fascinating. And uh, where's your booth at? We are at Swiss Pavilion. We are a Swiss company okay. uh, so at the Hall G downstairs. Okay. Yeah. And if people wanted more information about your company, they would go to? To Swiss Pavilion at uh, Hall G. I don't remember the exact number for the boot, but yeah. No, the website. A website. Website is largo.ai. Okay, largo, that's L-A-R-G-O dot A-I. I'm blown away by it. I got to get my head around it more. Fascinating. How long has it been around? So we are in the market almost four years. The technology is having six, seven years background. <sighs> I want to see what this is like next year. You're going to keep in touch with us. Let Enzo know. Give her your card. I, I'm blown away by it. Yeah. it. It's unbelievable. Thank you very much. It's almost scary. It's it's <laughs> it's really it's really at the verge where uh, you're competing with the brain. Yeah, that's where the industry is moving. Actually, the artificial intelligence is becoming a part of our life in many domains and. Creative is? industry is now a part of that as well. Well, Sammy, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. I hope you, you enjoyed yourself and had a good time. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.